spring has arrived and we're going to try to see how we can change our pathetic garden that has been just failing all through this tornado season and after this arctic blast and frost and everything of that nature we've been having rain that's been flooding out our pastures but i think we're almost at the tail end of everything right now so what we're going to do is start uh, reviving some of our beds before we do that we're going to see how our beds are and we're going to test it right here we have our beds everything has died from the frost basically some of the herbs are coming back and we want to keep those going and just not looking good but we got some things to do get these beds nice and ready we're going to add um, get some air into the soil put some compost on there uh, some rabbit manure and just refluff out these beds last year uh, we tested out our soil with the redmond soil test kit and it allowed us to know what exactly is with uh, the nutrients of the macro and the micro along with the ph levels so that way we're not just uh, feeding our soil the wrong type of nutrients and you also want to know about your ph level because if your ph is wrong a lot of your plants won't be able to take up a lot of those nutrients so we're going to you normally want to do this at the beginning and towards the end of the seasons we normally top dress uh, in between our growing season so we'll do uh, one around this time of the year and then transitioning from the summer to the fall we'll do another dressing and what we're going to start doing is start allowing the rabbit poop to go onto these beds as well during the off seasons so what we're going to do we're going to continue to do what we did last year but why we want to use the soil test kit is to see how well we improve our nitrogen levels so i'm going to uh, take samples and then we're going to anything that's been overgrown we're going to take those out the beds feed them to our chickens and then we're going to air out our beds with this new tool that i got from sean check this out <laughs> I'm stuck. And then we'll register this once we get inside. But now we're going to clean up these beds and then air it up. Okay. I think I'm going to raise this up a little bit too. Ooh. The worm tower. Put a little, I'm gonna put a little dirt.
What we have here is a, uh, a finesse tool. It's kind of similar to what a broad rake is, but it is a lot lighter, as you can see. It's a uh, 30 inch wide, and each of these forks are about six inches, six inch spacing. And all you have to do is basically put it in the ground, put it up, and all this does is allow air to get into your soil. Uh, doesn't really till it up because we do a no-till bed. We started off uh, the first growing season as putting tarp all over this bed, or all of this area, and just using containers. And then we slowly transitioned to adding cardboard and mulch on top of this. And now our soil has been very, very healthy. Um, we're hoping when we get these lab results back from Redmond soil test kit that it will show that we have been improving or at least maintaining our macronutrients and the mac macro and micronutrients and our pH level. Hopefully we can boost up our nitrogen. So all you do once again, just go back. See how fluffy this soil is already is. It's not even compacted because we don't walk on this i think i might move this time in that time and just put because it's four it's like four or five clusters here and about three clusters there might spread them out equally i might wind up putting some of the time in my per, uh, perennial garden beds over there you want to give it a try so show people how easy it is Now we got a lot of air uh, all through these beds. Next thing we got to do is we're gonna take some of our rabbit poop and just do a light uh, drizzle over through all of these. And this week we're gonna get some heavy rain. And so once we get the rain, we're gonna add the compost uh, that we have in our bed. After we are done with the rainy season, I think it's supposed to rain from Thursday to Saturday, we're gonna grab some of the compost and do about two to three inches thick uh, all throughout these beds here. And then, and then I think we should be able to start transplanting all of our starts because they're getting yellow now. We need to start adding some fertilizer and stuff and transplant. So if you're interested in winning one of these Redmond soil test kit, what we're going to do for the sweepstake is comment down below, let us know how many years you've been growing, what one plant that you're interested in growing this year, and what is one plant that you would never ever grow again. And then on April 22nd, we will do a raffle on, on the comments to see who gets selected to win in one of these soil test kits. Starting this kitchen garden was a lot of work. And if you want to see that video, we'll put that off to the side and also in the description down below. Until the next video, let's grow together.